Growing muscle size is the number one reason why people work out. If you have been hitting the gym regularly, you would have noticed the pain in your muscles right after you work out. No matter how regular you might be, muscles do pain after an exercise session. And this is true not only for gym goers. Anyone who does any sort of workout like running, yoga, etc. would have noticed this. But what is the correlation with increase in muscle size and pain? We find that out in today's video. Let's start. Muscles are one of the most important parts of our body and are responsible for every small and big movement you make. Even for picking up an object, your brain sends a signal to the hand and this signal activates the motor neuron. When these motor neurons receive the signal, the muscles in that area start to contract and relax, generating the need of a movement to pick an object. The bigger the challenge becomes, the higher is the brain's signal and the more motor units it rallies to help you achieve your task. We have over 600 muscles in our body. They make up between one third and half of your body weight. And along with connective tissues, they bind us together and help us move. And whether or not bodybuilding is your hobby, muscles need your constant attention because the way you treat them on a daily basis determines whether they will wither or grow. Now if you visit the gym, you would have seen people working on developing specific parts of the body by lifting weights and performing other activities. They are essentially trying to get a bigger muscle size by lifting more weights. But how does that work? How does stressing a particular muscle by lifting weights make it bigger? When you work out, your muscle fibers undergo another kind of cellular change. As you expose them to stress, let's say by lifting weights, they experience microscopic damage, which in this context is actually a good thing. In response to this damage, the injured cells release inflammatory molecules that activate the immune system to repair this injury. This is when muscle building happens. This resulting cycle of damage and repair eventually makes our muscles bigger and stronger as they adapt to the progressively greater demands. Since our bodies have already adapted to most everyday activity, they generally don't produce enough stress to stimulate new muscle growth. So to build new muscle, our cells need to be exposed to higher workloads than they're used to. This is why you see people increase weights continuously in the gym, so that they can keep the muscle under stress. In fact, if you don't continuously expose your muscle to some sort of resistance, they will shrink which is the reason why people tend to lose their progress quite quickly once they stop working out. But muscles rely on much more than just activity to grow. Without proper nutrition, hormones and rest, your body would never be able to repair the damaged muscle fibers. Protein in our diet preserves muscle mass by producing the building blocks for new tissue. Adequate protein intake helps shift the body into a state where tissue is repaired and grown quite quickly. That is why a high protein intake, especially when you want to increase your muscle size, is always recommended. If you're trying to grow muscle size, you should have about 1 to 1.2 times of protein than your body weight. This not only helps in the recovery, but makes the entire process much faster. Other factors that affect this muscle building process are age, gender and genetic factors. Some people have more robust immune reactions to muscle damage and are better able to repair and replace damaged muscle fibers, increasing their muscle building potential. If you tear up your muscles, eat right, rest and repeat, you'll create the conditions to make your muscles as big and strong as possible. I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, do drop in a like and subscribe for the channel. Also comment down if you have a topic that you're curious to know more about. Thank you for watching.